What's up everybody? In this video, I'm going to show you how to send a remote assistant invite. So for example, if your friend having his trouble with his computer, or if you're just trying to help somebody out, or you just need to show them how to do something, you can help them right from where you're sitting. So applications like VNC, log me in and team viewer used to be what was needed on their computer to remote in but they're not needed anymore because Windows 10 came out with a remote assistant built in into the OS. So here's what we need to do. So the person that is trying to share a screen needs to click on start and type MSRA and then press enter. And right here, we need to click on invite someone you trust to help you. And then right here, we can either email to send an invitation but it's only going to work if you have Outlook installed and set up on your computer, or you can just save this invitation as a file. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to click on that. And then right here, I'm just going to choose desktop and then I'm going to click on save. Once the file is saved, you'll get this window right here and then you're going to have this file. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to take this file. I'm going to take that password. I'm going to log into my second computer and I'm gonna be remoting in, into this computer from my second computer. So I'm gonna put it on a flash drive and I'm gonna to move to another computer. Okay, right here, I have this file on this my second computer. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna double click on it and then you'll get this pop-up box and it's gonna be asking for that password, the one it was created on the other computer. So we just have to put that password in and then we need to click on okay and then we'll get this window and on this computer, this message is going to appear and it's going to ask, would you like to allow this user to connect to your computer? And then they'll just have to click yes. And on my other computer, I'm going to be able to see their display. As of right now, I can only see what's on their computer and I cannot do anything. I don't have control. And for example, if you need to have a control of the other system, what you need to do, you need to click on this request control button. And then this message is going to appear on their computer and they just have to accept and click on yes. And once they do that, now you have control of their system. Now you can do all of the troubleshootings and do everything what you need to do. And that's it. Once you get done, you can just close this window and background on the other computer is going to go back to the default, whatever it was said before. And that's it. You don't really even have to install any third party software to remote and enter somebody else's computer and to help them out with troubleshooting or something else. If this video was helpful to you, press that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.